Marhaba. Let's talk about some uh, brand information. Who is missing prior to the friendlies against Libya and Gabon? Uh, who's new to the uh, roster? Let's talk about the brand new uh, kit uh, intro. Salam alaikum. Welcome to the brand new episode of Soccer Rocco. My name is Yusuf. We're going to talk about the Moroccan national team prior to the friendlies. We're going to talk about the brand new kit. I'm in good old Germany. It's, it's uh, the sun is shining, but it's cold. Uh, so we're going to talk about the Moroccan national team just to get heated up a little bit. Uh, I'm ruining my brand new, my brand new vans for you on a muddy pitch. Just for you, this deserves a subscribe. That's all I'm saying, subscribe, because there's gonna be a lot of uh, new information because I'm talking about some stuff uh, nobody seems to talk about. So let's jump right in, everybody. All right, who is missing? Who's not gonna be on the team on Friday? It's uh, Renem Sage from Wolverhampton, he's injured. Uh, Nusir Mazraoui from Ajax Amsterdam is not gonna be on a team as well as Tarapt, injured not going to be on the team he's going to be present in Wijda and Tanza that's what he said but he's not going to be on the pitch supposedly Ashraf Hakimi is not going to be there Hakim Ziyech is not going to be there but there are going to be some brand new players uh, Wadi Lukarti I'm super excited to see that man playing uh, Naif is going to be there uh, Qadori is going to be there so many new players so I'm uh, gonna talk about that in a few I'm pretty curious and I want to find out with you soccer Rockins who can replace Mehdi Ben Atiyah I believe in players like uh, Jawad Amir, Yunus Abdel Hamid, uh, Boutaib we do have some talented players who can replace Mehdi Ben Atiyah I'm pretty sure so we're gonna see on Friday um, we know that players like Ashraf, Ashraf Hakimi and Nusayr Mazraoui they have the talent uh, so, uh, but inshallah we're gonna see some new players and I'm also excited to see what Karti. I want to see him on the pitch. Let's see what he can do. Uh, we've had, we've talked about Malqui. He's not gonna play. Uh, uh, he's not gonna be on the team. But I'm, I don't care about that actually because if you don't want to play for this team, get out. That's all I'm saying. Um, and uh, Belhinda is not gonna be there. Yusuf Ben Nasser is gonna be, not gonna be there. I'm pretty shocked that. Um, Sufian Buffet is not going to be on the team. I don't know why, but I hope he can join the team uh, in the future because he's always good for that last uh, 30 or 40 minutes. He can, he can uh, bring something to the table. He got the speed, he got the technical skills. Let's see what happens. But I believe in Sufian Buffet. He has to come back. Inshallah. Uh, Dirad is not going to be there because he's uh, facing a surgery. Uh, interesting is that uh, Mehdi Kasela, Kaseya? I still don't know how to pronounce him, is going to be back. I'm not a fan of his uh, style of playing, but he's going to be there, I think, because so many more talented, more gifted players are missing. I'm sorry, Maddie, but maybe he can show something. I believe in everybody who's uh, wearing that kit. Let's see what happens. All right, let's talk about the opponent. Nobody seems to talk about Libya, but I want to show some respect. So we're going to talk about the game uh, and the opponent uh, Libya. I predict a 3-1 win. I need you to put down in the comments below what you predict. Your predictions, put them down below 2-0, 2-0, whatever you want. Write it down. I'm, I'm in for trouble. Just write down whatever you want and I say it's not gonna be that easy. I know uh, that Libya is not a big team but we always struggle with that small teams and now we're gonna talk about Libya. Well, as I said, uh, Libya is uh, one of the smaller teams. It's ranked uh, on the 105th position in the FIFA World Ranking. Uh, the overall team value is about 7 million. The average age of the squad is 27 and uh, it consists of 25 players. They will play in the 10th group uh, of the qualifiers for the AFCON 2021 against Tunisia. Tanzania and Equatorial Guinea. I'm sorry, it's pretty windy in Germany. All right, who are the stars on the team? Um, 
I try to come I try to come up with one superstar and uh, one interesting player of Libya is Smail Tejuri. He's 25 years old. Uh, he was born in Switzerland, raised in Austria, and uh, he's playing for New York City FC. And he said it's an honor for him to play for the Libyan national team. Uh, he's an interesting striker uh, and right winger. He can play both positions and uh, he can score some goals. He can uh, cause some trouble in the Moroccan defense. So I'm pretty interesting to see what uh, Ismail Tejuri can do. I hope he's not going to score a, a goal against us. But you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fan, a spectator, right? All right, I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited and I'm pretty curious to see how we're going to do against Libya, how the game is going to go. I think everything, uh, inshallah, everything is going to go well. But um, I'm tired of all those rumors that are going around uh, with Malqui. I hope that shit is done and alhamdulillah and I don't know, the, the coach is lying. I, did, I, I, I wanted to play for the team, but he didn't want me on the team. And the, uh, the coach Wahid said that uh, Alhamdulillah doesn't want to play, be on the team. I'm sick of that. We don't have time for that and we don't have the energy for that. I think we all have one specific goal that we want to reach, inshallah. So I hope they can focus on the game itself. And Tunis Deed, Puma signed a multi year. A contract with the Moroccan Football Federation and everybody is excited and I got to see that new uh, kit yesterday on Instagram and I was shocked because it's ugly AF that's all I'm saying it's not my kind of style I don't know uh, just write down your opinion about this kit but I'm shocked it's not beautiful at all I'm sorry I don't know what they did they started that beautiful fabric right here and then there was nothing i don't know what that is halloween is it's coming pretty soon i don't know what puma's trying to tell us right here but i'm not gonna buy this they said that the overall cost the expected cost is uh about 450 dirham it's okay but it's too much for that i'm not that excited uh, i don't like it i'm sorry everybody just tell me your opinion in the comments down below but i'm i don't like it i'm not gonna buy it but I like the new shirts, uh, that training shirts, the black and the white one with the buttons. That's that's beautiful. I think I'm gonna get one of these, but the new kit is ugly AF. I'm sorry. Thank you very much for watching Soccer Rockins. Stick around. Uh, I hope you liked the video. I'm pretty optimistic when it comes to the upcoming friendlies. Let's see what happens. Uh, write down in the comments below if there are any players you want me to talk about in the future or subjects or more about the Moroccan national teams or Algerian or Tunisian national team, whatever you want, put it down in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Bislema, shukran everybody.